Dragon and Lion dances kicked off a two-day celebration in Rio de Janeiro to mark the 68th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. The spectacle included martial arts, a Tai Chi demonstration, dancing performance and other Chinese cultural traditions. This is the first time China celebrates its national day in Rio de Janeiro. And according to organizers, the idea is not just to make Brazilians more familiar with Chinese culture, but also to strengthen business ties. The event, sponsored by the Chinese General Consulate in Rio and the city's cultural office, is the first, but not the last, National Day in Rio. From now on, annually, we will do this event repeatedly. And uh, uh, we also believe this event will, will continue to abstract more attention internationally and, and, and regionally. It was also the first time that top Chinese firms operating in Rio were able to showcase their products in a single space, both to Chinese and Brazilian businessmen. I think uh, this is a very good chance to uh, show the Chinese culture and also uh, a good chance for uh, our bank to introduce our service to the uh, Chinese company, invest here and uh, to the local customer. According to Rio's general consulate, about one-tenth of the 300,000 Chinese immigrants in Brazil live in Rio. Many attended the event to show off the customs and wares of their motherland. Since 2009, China has been Brazil's main trading partner and is looking to step up investments in Rio. With the National Day becoming part of the city's annual calendar, the expectation is to bridge distance, language and business. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.